get to do the little ordinary things that everyone ought to do I'm living in a kind of daydream I'm happy as a king years did you play with Hawkins? Two or three. You played 39, 40, and 41. Yeah, that's it. In 41, did, no, you did not win the league championship in 41, did we you? We won that. You did that in 41. We won that in, in about 15 games. We won it. Greg Lee was our manager at that time. Yeah, well, I remember him. And on the hill, he's living here now. Yeah. And uh, Frank Hill is living in Buffalo. Frankie Carswell. I remember Carswell. You know, Frank, he was in majors. In fact, he was vice president of the bank in Houston, Texas. And he was on a ladder painting his house. A little ranch out. He had a ladder sitting on concrete and fell and fractured his skull. And he was laid up for many and all for about two or three years. Then he, when he got better, they sent him to Montgomery, Alabama. He was the manager there. And John O'Neill was the general manager at that time. Is that right? But who did he get to with the major leagues? Who was he with? Uh, Detroit. Detroit. Mm -hmm. He's he still alive? Yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Frank is still alive. Okay. Who was the best ball player on the Jamestown team? Then? Who was the best yeah. ball player? Well, if I had my choice, I would say Earl Rat. That's good. I loved him. I thought he was great. Yeah. Why? Why? Because he had a potential. Zone. He was a great runner, a good hitter, and he could play the field. Mm -hmm. I think I would have to say Earl Rat. Now you, I bet you're thinking, well, maybe Johnny Moon. No, I can't. Johnny couldn't. He hit a lot of home runs, but he let a ball, a lot of bases. That's right. Yeah. A lot of runs landed because he couldn't hit the ball. But I mean, as a hitter, he was a great one. Oh, sure, sure, sure. But Earl Rapp is uh, be my type. Was Lurch in here while you played? No, I'm uh -uh, sure. But there's another guy who should have been in the major leagues. Yeah, yeah. Because he could run, he could hit, he could throw, he could do everything, but he didn't have brand one. That's right, that's what they said. Is he, is you, is he alive, George, still? George is still alive, he lives in Detroit. And another guy who should have been in the major leagues is Lyle Parkers. Who's the, toughest, who's the toughest pitcher you faced in that in that era uh, with Jameson when you're playing? A fellow, a fellow by name Mike uh, uh, Wargo from Hamilton, Ontario. Mark Wargo. Did he hit the big time? He hit the big time. He had the greatest pickoff play in any pitcher I've ever seen. One day I was, I don't think I was from here to home from first base, and I probably was dozing. I don't know. First thing you know, I'm, the guy tagged me. <laughs> Where'd the ball come from? <laughs> Where'd the ball come from? But boy, I'm, he could beat us. There's a saying in baseball that a certain yeah. pitcher can throw his glove on the field and they beat you. Well, Wargo could beat us anytime he wanted. Okay. He's a Cardinal. Uh, Cardinals, uh, that's right. Hmm? What about Frankie Heller? Great. Good ball. Frankie was a uh, good ball. One of the reasons why Frankie, he had a, a mean disposition for me. Oh, did he? Oh. Frank, I'll never forget the time he was on first base and he always had a big chew of tobacco in him, all the time. And Frankie wasn't paying attention at all where the ball hit him in the stomach and he swallowed it. Oh. I, 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 we thought he was going to die. <laughs> he swallowed that whole tobacco. Man, he went down like a... Then we had another guy by the name of Johnny Williams, if you play third base. He's in 41 after. He, Carswell came out after him when he broke his leg, sliding down the third base. Uh, Johnny Williams. 
Hank Nowak. Now he played up in in. Uh, now was he related to that Nowak family in in, well, in, in Buffalo? Buffalo? Sure, that's the same one. It's the same bunch. Sure, uh, Hank is Hank is his name. Hank, Hank Nowak. Yeah. yeah. And he's he alive? And yeah, he's still alive. Frankie Hill is alive. Sam Mamiko, you know, the general manager, he was alive. He's here. Uh, he's not here, but he was in Buffalo. How about Al Bradley? I can't tell you. Recall, did he get beamed or something here in Jamestown? Who was that? This Bradley boy, did he get beamed uh, real bad? No, I know who you're talking about. But that one, that's when Schaefer hit the guy. Remember Schaefer? Yeah, Dwayne Schaefer. Dwayne Schaefer, yeah. He hit. I can't tell what team it was, but old Schaefer. The guy was guessing. Now, what I mean by him was guessing. He was guessing, is Schaefer going to throw me a curveball or is he going to throw me a straight ball? The Schaefer threw a fastball and then fractured his skull. You think that bothered Schaefer? Not one bit. He went out there and pitched the ball again. There's no nothing happened, but he fractured his skull. Mm. And I was catching the ball again at that time. And, oh, it was awful. Now, the backup catcher that you had on this team that you played was Newman, right? Yeah, we don't, I was the only one. I know that. I mean, Newman, I know, caught a few games, but yeah. that was your backup catcher. Yeah. That's the only one I caught about 100 and, I don't think we played 126 or 100, I can't remember. Right I, caught, I caught 100 of them. 100. Who was your pitching staff, John? All right. Our pitching staff was Stan McGullock. Okay. Relief hurt, right? All right. He was the relief man. He yep. could really. Al Balash, Dick Schmidt. Pete Angel. Is Pete Angel here then? Yeah. I think we only had four pitchers. That was a time that uh, they were allowed four veterans, so many limited service men, and so many women. Tell me about Malivi and Pitler. Oh, <laughs> there's no comparison between. <laughs> Jake Pitler was a, he was an actor, really, but. Uh, he came here for a show. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, I'll never forget the time. He always carried a dozen baseballs alongside him in the dugout. Alongside the dugout. And I hit a home run here one day, and he got a hold of that baseball. And he said, oh my god, he didn't. He threw the baseballs in the air. He said, impossible. <laughs> uh, he, but he was a fine gentleman. Opening day, 1941, at this ballpark where you're in right now. They had a big crowd that day, didn't they? Over 5,000. Do you remember much about that opening day, the festivities yes, I, and stuff? I, I had a big day. Did you really? I had, I Three had, for four. Uh huh. And you're I, right. I had a single, double, and a triple. And I know I was here. I had, uh, I won all the prizes. 